Alright, so I've got the motor just temporary hooked up. Uh, two 30 volt, three phase. Uh, spinning the uh, stirring thingy down inside. There you go, you can see the stir thingy. Got a uh, pin here that you can pull out and to take the stir stick off of it for cleaning. There's a view of the stir stick with the lid up. So it's not a really fast, just a nice slow stir. This unit has a air activated lid assist. I'm going to call it assist. Um, you got it there in neutral where it's off. And it, it now takes 120 psi of pressure. And click it over. And it starts to charge it. What I found, and I don't know why, but you still got to, the lid's kind of tight. So you got to pick the lid up, help it get that first so it goes once you get it up there she goes on up but when, when it tries it catches on the edge right here and it holds it tight when it tries to pick it up because of the seal so you, you have to give it a little assist to get it up um, which you can't move it without the air assist um, and it's got uh, a valve here that helps adjust uh, you know, so it won't slam back and then you want to put it down you put it over here and see how slow it goes you can adjust that with the valve too so it just don't clank shut so you can adjust the speeds up or back uh, the only thing is like I said you have to give it a little assist in getting it off the edge right here because it's a heavy lid now it's got a latch here and it's just kind of wore out. It's supposed to be able to latch this thing, but that will need reworking if you need to use the latch. Uh, the last guy that was using it didn't use the latch, so it didn't bother him. Um, but you have to figure that out. I don't want to hold shut for some reason. But the lid doesn't come up. Uh, we were mixing sauces and things, or he was mixing sauces and things, and so didn't have an issue. But just be aware of that. Um, it's got a good uh, port here that works, seals off nicely. We even tested it, put water in it. So that, uh, that's your outlet port. It's got a few repairs here and there, which is, you know, kind of normal for these old, older tubs. That's been repaired. That's been repaired. Um... Now I put a new seal in this uh, handle here, or the, the valve here. It's got several little holes, Ooh, find the hole. Several little holes in it where they've had, you know, nipples for a process, you know, adding things. There's one there. This one's probably for adding ingredients while the hole, the lid's down. There's two more. That one's threaded. That's a bigger one. Just trying to get you an overall view of it. Now, from the pictures, if you look inside of here, you see little, some, some dimples. Now, what they're telling me is those dimples are for the raised floor. The, the floor of this thing is raised in the back and tilted forward. So those dimples actually raise the floor up. All right, it's got uh, adjustable feet there. It's got uh, what's it? Got three feet. Looks like they've been painted before.
Look at that guy. He just hits the ride. I just watched this thing. So there you have it.